Okay, in this lecture we'll be creating our security credentials that we can use for our devices and for our testing tools. Now we just created this policy in IAM, but AWS now requires for all new policies that you're going to use with IoT, you create it from IoT Core directly. So throughout the course you'll need to create roles and you can do that through IAM. But for this specific policy that we need to create once, we need to do it through IAM. So I want to replicate creating that exact same policy but from the IoT Core console instead of IAM. But it was important that I showed you that because you're going to need to do that as well throughout the course. So to create the same policy here in IoT Core, just go to Secure, go to Policies, and go to Create. And again, we can give it the same kind of name. We gave it for all to say my IoT Paul 888. That's a catchy name, just something you can remember. So we're going to give it an action and a resource. For action, again, we want all IoT actions. So I'm just going to say IoT colon asterisk. That gives actions to everything we would possibly want in IoT. I don't want to give it a specific resource. I want to give it all resources. So to do that, again, I'm just going to use that wildcard character. OK, now I'm just going to hit this allow and then go ahead and create this policy. And you can see it's right here, my IoT policy. Now we got to get our security credentials, our certificates, and then we're going to attach this policy to it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So now that I have the policy created from the IoT console, go up here to certificates and go ahead and create. I'm going to go ahead and use one click creation. I don't have any previous certificates I want to duplicate. Assuming you don't have any, go ahead and create certificates. Now there's four different ones here, one, two, three, and this is our fourth. I don't need the public key. This one's completely optional. I want to download my client certificate, a private key, and the root 509, X509 root certificate. Those three will be installed on our device or our testing tool. And once we attach that policy to it, we'll have access to the complete IoT console. So if you do this once, you can reuse these certificates for any device, the Raspberry Pi, the ESP8266, the ESP32, and you can recycle the same credentials if you want. It's generally bad practice to do that. You generally want your own certificates and credentials for your own device, but for this, not that important. So go ahead and download all three of these. I'll just go ahead and download that, download that, now, you'll see throughout the course when I download this, it just goes ahead and downloads like the previous two. Now it doesn't do that anymore. It gives you this page. Because what they're offering recently is higher encryption and hash certificates for that root 509. We don't need to use the higher encryption ones. It's not really adding all that much security. So go ahead and hit this one. And it's going to give us this screen instead of downloading it. So we're just going to copy this. Open this up in an editor if you're on Linux, Emacs, or Vim is fine, Nano. It won't add any formatting. Just make sure if you open on a Windows or Mac, you're not adding any formatting to it because it needs to be exactly like this. So on Windows, I use Notepad, and I'll just make a literal save of it. So what I'm going to do is say Save, and I want to save it under a specific name here, so I use the quotation marks. You can call it whatever you want, but I want it ending in PEM. That's the right security format. But the quotation marks mean don't add TXT to the end. Don't add any extension to the end. So that's called a hard save. So that's how you need to save it. So let's save this. I'm going to replace any old ones that there. Doesn't look like there's any there. That's great. Now that we downloaded these three security certificates, there's two more things we have to do here. First, we have to activate our credentials. If you don't activate it, it's not going to work. So go ahead and activate it. Great. We successfully activated our certificates. Actually, it's just this one, but... Think of it as all three. And now we need to attach that policy we just created in the IoT console to these certificates. So attach the policy. And the one we're going to look for is that one we just created, which should be on the bottom of the list. There it is, my IoT policy. Create, do that. And there's one more thing we got to do. So our certificates have the policy attached to them. We've got to have to look for what the certificates are called. So you kind of have to look at what they just called as we downloaded them. So I'm looking here, They're, they start with 7CB. So hopefully they'll be right at the end there. There they are. That's the set of certificates we just downloaded. So you need to reference this kind of abstract string here. So the last thing we need to do 
is activate them. If you forget this step, again, it's not going to work. So activate that security credential policy package. And now we're good to go. So we attached the policy to our security credentials. We activated them. And the next thing we need to do is upload them to our device or our testing tool. And that's the last thing we're going to do in the next lecture before we move on to the second section of the course. All right, I'll see you there.